today we are counting down the top 10 YouTube scandals of the year. So far, I mean, it is only like mid-June. Honestly, I've been editing this for so long. I've lost all sense of time. But um, there's been a lot. So grab yourself a cup of piping hot tea, try not to spill it, and relax as we show that whilst many YouTube careers may be staring the Grim Reaper dead in the eyes, YouTube.com certainly is not for now. <laughs> Now let's start today's countdown with arguably the queen of all scandals, the baddest bitch on the internet, Tana Mongoose. She has had more scandals than times I've cried myself to sleep. And that's a lot. Now this scandal in particular, as hard as it may be to believe, wasn't actually Tana's fault. <gasps> Yeah, I know, I was shocked too. And so the truth about Tana's relationship began to unravel on the internet as it so often does with screenshots and vicious rumors flying about all over the place that Tana got serially cheated on by her then boyfriend and fellow content creator, B Tech Justin Bieber. You know, there are two things that I never in a million years thought I would do. Number one, finish school without killing myself. And number two, sympathize with Tana Mojo. Being cheated on absolutely sucks. And when I watched her video, she was distraught and emotional and I really did feel for her until she announced that she was dating Jake Paul and all that sympathy that I so very briefly had for Tana just shriveled up like Jake Paul's tiny mind and most likely dick. He did not f his cat, he did not f on his cat, he did not put his anywhere near his cat. Allegedly. So an old joke, and no, I'm not talking about Muggs' mom, got blown way out of proportion and suddenly the internet decided that one of YouTube's most loved creators just had sex with his cat. How? I mean, like, how did they come to that conclusion, not how did... I'm gonna move on. And even though it all came out that Shane did not have sex with his cat, it's still more pussy than I ever get. <laughs> Moving on to Cody Ko, the commentary YouTuber that just so happened to make some jokes about Jake Paul and his brother Logan, you know, the one that filmed a dead body in the woods that one time. Even after all the shitty things that they've done as brothers, it wasn't okay to joke about them, as Jake Paul made it very, very clear as he confronted Cody Ko, called him a bit of a bully, and then made a video about it. And I think it's pretty safe to say, Everyone was very, very confused. But you know what, after a careful analysis of both of the people involved and, you know, all the potential psychological traumas that could have led to this point, I think I finally cracked it. And um, Jake, if you're watching this, I, uh, I hate to be the one to break this diagnosis to you, but um, how do I, how do I say this? Um, jealousy is a sickness, get well soon, Jake. <coughs> now this one, I'm not gonna lie to you. I kinda don't care. I tried watching Keemstar's drama alert video on this topic and I got about two minutes in and I was like, I just can't take this anymore. So I gave up. But I think I've grasped the sort of summary of what went on. I mean, we're all simple people on this channel. So um, this is all you're gonna need to know. Okay, I've got you, I've got you back. So this guy called Tfue is suing this other guy called FaZe Banks because FaZe Banks wouldn't give Tfue his money and let him out of this contract that he was like bound to. And that was it. It wasn't very dramatic, it wasn't very interesting, but there you go, you know, sometimes, sometimes scandals aren't, they're a bit shit. Leave a thumbs up if you're enjoying the video. <laughs> now I'm aware that you're probably going to be very shocked to hear that Jenna Marbles is on the list of top 10 YouTuber scandals because, you know, she shouldn't be here, right? But I have heard some uh, pretty shocking news about Jenna Marbles in, um, in the recent Days that I just feel is right that to share with the internet, you know, I need to share this info with you guys. It is an absolute scandal that Jenna Marbles is not getting the love and attention that she so rightfully deserves. She is just a 32 year old lady living her best 32 year old lady life, you know, making wholesome content about her dogs and her plants and her beautiful boyfriend and, and nobody seems to care. It is an absolute abomination that she is being overlooked because of all these stupid scandals and dramas and things that that I don't really care about. Does it really matter? No. What does matter is Jenna Marbles putting her dogs in Halloween costumes and talking very passionately about her houseplants. That's the kind of content that I signed up to the internet for. She is the true hero that this website needs but doesn't deserve. <coughs> now, being a young person in 2019 comes with a lot of backlash from the older generations, you know, labeling us stuff like snowflakes and overly sensitive and too soft and also not racist. I'll take that one. But when the older generations do talk about how younger people, I mean, to put it bluntly, a bit fucked up, they might be onto something. I present to thee Danielle Cohn, the 15 year old who lets her boyfriend and his best friends watch her parade around in her living room 
in bikinis and then, you know, just put it on the internet. Because that's a normal thing that 15 year olds do. I don't have children, I'm not a parent, but in my opinion, she shouldn't be doing that because she's 15 years old and I think it's just it's just not acceptable for a 15 year old to be doing that. She should be down the park with her mates smoking weed and drinking WKD until she vomits. That's the true life of a 15 year old. That's what she should be doing. And if that wasn't enough, young Danielle decided that she was gonna fool the internet into thinking that she was pregnant and also going to get married. Yeah, 15 year olds definitely don't do that. You know, I never thought I would say this, but Jojo Siwa, on behalf of the internet, I apologize for everything that, that you have been bullied over. We would like you back. You are our only hope at this point. But a few videos later, a lot of lost brain cells and about 20 mid-roll ads, she announced that she wasn't pregnant and it was just a prank. This is why nobody likes young people. <laughs> but the real joke is how she is probably richer than I will ever be in my entire life. And I mean, that's more sad than funny. <laughs> oh, Trisha. <laughs> now, like most people on this list, Trisha is definitely not a stranger to a scandal. Now, there are a lot of people out there that really do admire Trisha, and it's quite easy to see why. She's very open-spoken, she's honest, she's unapologetically herself, although sometimes I wish she would apologize, like that time she fucked a ghost because that is an image that has been burned onto the back of my retinas for the rest of eternity. Thanks, Trisha. Don't get me wrong, I like to be fucked by a spirit just as much as the next person, but my spirit of choice is usually vodka and not somebody's dead granddad from beyond the grave. <sighs> now, like with any scandal, the people on the internet, much like Trisha's legs, were divided. Some people thought that Trisha having braids was really insensitive and a bad case of cultural appropriation and really insensitive to people of colour. And other people, well, they were just white. <laughs> Now, it is no secret that poor James has had a bit of a tough time just recently, you know? Not only was he ridiculed online for selling meet and greet tickets for the affordable price of $500, <laughs> he found himself front and centre of probably one of the biggest scandals in YouTube history, which I like to call Vitamin Gate. Which started off very simply as You promoted someone else's vitamins instead of my vitamins! And very quickly evolved into you are a sexual predator and a danger to society. Yeah. And Sister James did not take that lying down. And that is not an innuendo. He first responded with the classic teary-eyed, heavy breathing, filmed on a potato apology video like most people do. As we all very well know, it did not end there as James made another video seemingly showing that, that, that he had screenshots to prove everyone wrong and that he was not a sexual predator after all. And the internet sort of went into meltdown. Okay, I'd like to start off by saying do not tell me that this is not the face you see upon entering the gates of hell. Hi, how are ya? So as we're all well aware, the beauty community hasn't really had the greatest of times just recently. So when the James Charles shenanigans really reached its peak, Jeffrey decided, hey, I'm not getting enough attention, I want in. Uh, of course he did. Now Jeffrey claimed that he had so much tea on James that PG Tips had announced bankruptcy and were about to go out of business. But almost as quickly as James Charles was losing subscribers, Jeffrey just hopped on his little pink bike and just backpedaled very, very quickly, just far into the distance. Oh, there he goes. So not only did he delete his tweets about James and the very mean things that he said about James's brother, but he also deleted over 1,000 other tweets of his own. Hmm. And he eventually uploaded the video he said he was going to upload, but it wasn't the video that he said he was going to upload because he actually didn't show any proof of any of the allegations and accusations that he made against James. He just sort of said he wasn't going to make a video about it in a video about it. Come on, Jeffrey. I had my popcorn ready. Now, I am not an umbrella, but this whole situation seems mighty shady. Jeffrey, if you're watching this video, I'd like to remind you of the wise words once spoken by um, this 10 year old girl from Vine. When there's too much drama on YouTube, all you gotta do is walk away. Amen, sister. And that's the end of the video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun filming it. Um, if you did enjoy it, you can let me know by leaving a cheeky thumbs up. And uh, if there's anyone out there that wants to start drama with me for the clout, feel free to do so. Just cyber bully me in the comments below. And if you're not already, subscribe, turn on notifications, come join the family. I upload every single week. And again, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate all the love and support. And I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye.